Uh, so this is sort of our gizmo, and we actually have this patented because it has some really cool features. One of the features is that when you're like edge on, uh, you see some of the gizmo things go away, and uh, it always it always sort of adjusts so that it's pointing at you. So you can see how the gizmo is pointing at me here. If I rotate it around, it adjusts, and it po still is pointing at me. So you can see as it goes there, it, it adjusts. Now, the, um, the arrows here are for moving in a given direction. So right now, I'm just moving along. Uh, I believe that was the red one. So I'm just moving along the x-axis. You see the x-axis is red here. Um, and so that's just moving along the x-axis. And, you know, similarly, the y and the z-axis. I can also scale along the x-axis with this little, this little guy that's out here is scaling in that axis. So you can see we can scale in either axis. Um, now if you want to do something in two axes, uh, you can use these things here. For example, if you, if you hover over this guy, you can see that it's now scaling in the x and the y axis. So you can, you know, if you move up and down, it scales up and down in the x and y axis. Uh, conversely, these ones in here, these sort of semicircular quad things, uh, as you as you hold over them, you can see that it highlights the the things that it's going to move. So, if you want to move something in just this plane, the um, x y plane, you can grab this guy and do that. Um, and if you want to rotate in that plane, you can use this one to do that. And here, you can use this one. Um, now you note that the axes are always kind of aligning with the default axes here, and we have ways to change that. Um, for example, you can align it with the geometry. So now the z-axis is aligned with the plane of that face, or if I pick an edge, you can see the x-axis is aligned with the edge. And the z-axis is sort of aligned with the average of the two adjacent faces. Um, so uh, one, of the, one of the useful things that we have is the ability to lock the axis. So let me uh, grab this here. So let's say we wanted to lock these guys in this particular position. We can click lock here. And then uh, let's say we go grab a vertex somewhere. You can see it's it's locked in that orientation. So then if you want to move, uh, you know, relative to that face, you can move uh, in that, in the orientation of that face. 